Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. In the last video, we managed to escape from the Pillar of Autumn as she was uh, being destroyed and uh, making an escape to Halo. And uh, our lifeboat is just about to crash and touch down uh, in this unusual celestial body. Let's just say that. Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? Well, that's not great. I mean, we're fine, but looks like the rest of the Marines didn't make it. So, kind of feel bad for the guy that we tossed in here <laughs> a few moments ago. Oh, well, no time for tears. There's nothing we can do. Wow. And look at this. Halo anniversary. They certainly did a good job visually. Let's just say that. Uh, the only there's a couple of caveats. Like if we swap to the old graphics, Warning. for instance. I detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. I still think the lucky, original the will believe that everyone aboard this looks really crash. good. Now, one thing that uh, was very impressive back in the day is when you look down, you actually have grass. It wasn't just a stupid green texture like you'd see on uh, previous games you know we actually had proper grass texture which seems small and basic now but at the time it was very very impressive and there we have a covey dropship well we'll deal with that in a minute now if we head over to this waterfall which I still kind of think looks pretty good in the original graphics. We should, somewhere, have a skull that's been added to the game. If I can just find it. I know it's here somewhere. There's actually two skulls on this level. One second. Ah, there you are, Bonesy old boy. That's the mythic skull. Well, we'll keep that in our back pocket for now. Not sure why Chief is collecting skulls, but, you know, we're not going to worry about these. Uh... Hey, and an achievement popped. So I guess I haven't found that one before. Yeah, we're not going to worry about these philosophical questions. So if we look at the sun, for instance, on the remake, it's kind of like, eh, it's all right, I guess. It's fine. But if we watch the original graphics, the light actually filters through the branches of the trees, which is an effect that even now you don't see in games. Very interesting. Anyway, let's go deal with the uh, Covenant Scourge that have dropped onto our landing site. Well, this won't do. Let's get rid of you. Looks like somebody's got a plasma pistol. Now, plasma weapons eat through shields like no tomorrow. So, we're going to want to be a little bit careful with those. No more. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, looks like we have a needler. Needler is a very interesting uh, covenant weapon. It uses a special type of crystal mind on one of the covenant's homeworlds. Um... And it tracks and homes in on organic matter. Very powerful weapon. Very good weapon as well, actually. Right, well, let's leave these guys alone and uh, get across this bridge here. Ooh, hello. Don't worry, my friend. I can still reach out and touch you. Can't quite score a headshot, but... Uh, oof. The original graphics... the new graphics. They did a good job. They really did. Alright, well, let's go see if we can link up with somebody else. 
getting a little bit lonely out here. Just us and the Coveys. Yeah, it looks like the Coveys are bringing in some air support in the shape of some Banshees. Now, these guys have some serious plasma cannons on board. Unfortunately, our armor is no match for them. Now, you know when they're nearly done because they'll start smoking. Now, that if you want to destroy both of them, as I'm going to do here, you've got to damage one and then start damaging the other. Because if you destroy one, the other one will run away. So we're going to take and spread the damage out evenly. Because after all, we don't want these hinge heads reporting our location back. Now, um, these Banshees uh, were almost cut from the game. Because it, it apparently was a hell of a challenge for the developers to actually get the AI to be able to pilot um, adequately without them constantly crashing into things. Uh, you'll see that a lot as well. Like... <laughs> The AI pilots will crash into trees, obstacles, all kind of things. It's not perfect, but I'm glad they left it in. Because Banshees are a pretty cool opponent. And there's the original. And the new. Ooh, hello. So we've got another squad of hinge heads just up from us. Can't quite get up there. Let's try and get some elevation on these guys. Ooh. We have a red elite. Red elites are a higher rank than the blue ones. Right, let's see if we can't snipe this guy's shields. Just a little bit. Let's get rid of you. Where are you hiding? There you are. Looks like he's got some cover from another grunt, unless I'm imagining it. Aha! Nope, there was another grunt there. And our shields are already fried. Now these guys will stand back and allow their shields, and we're stuck. They will stand back and allow their shields to recharge. Kind of like you. So if you've got one on the run, you want to kind of keep the pressure on them. That is a bitch on Legendary. Where the enemies will just run away and uh, recharge their shields. Now, our health is not great at the moment, but that's fine. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. I've seen the future. Okay. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. You should check to see if there are any survivors. Interesting. Well, looks like there are survivors. Covenant are attacking somebody. Let's lend a hand. Oof. Unfortunately, that dropship has a heavy plasma cannon on board, and it burns. Ooh. Ah, shit. We're out of ammo. That's not great. Hopefully we can deal with these guys. Ooh. An elite. Whoop. With a needler. That's not great. Hey, chap. Uh, that would be that would be bad. Hey, Johnson. That's not great. Now, what's interesting here is Avery Johnson is actually a very important character to the game's lore, um, but he can actually die. And every time you encounter him, he can actually die in this game. Now, I, what I assume, and I'm pretty sure I looked this up. In the original game, he was just, you know, Sergeant Marine, basically. So, if he died, it didn't really matter. It was only after this game where they decided to make him like a, a hero character, so to speak. At least, I'm pretty sure... That's the reason they gave for him just being a random marine that can die. Uh, that's one way fought off. How are we doing, men? Covenant 
Oh. There's another one hanging low and heavy. Alright, calm down, guys. We got this. We got this. Yes, they are everywhere. But so are we. Let's see if we can't snipe a few of them on the way. Oh, there's the leader. If we can get some damage on him. The grunts will panic. Shields are not in a happy place right now. But they're in a better place than he is. Yeah, this handgun is just amazing. And ammo for it is rather plentiful as well. So feel free to just uh, let them bullets fly. Alright, not bad. Let's go grab some more. Luckily, these marines brought some supplies with them. Another dropship coming in. That's fine. Alright. Uh -oh, yeah, we got this. We got this. Don't panic. Nobody panic. You can panic when I tell you to panic. Now, let's see if we can't... Send this hinge head packing. Although... He's got some cover from his dropship, which isn't really helping the situation. Yeah, those needle rounds are very, very nasty. When you read the books, the damage that a needler will do, it's kind of insane. Ah, there we go. Come on, man. Come on. One little hinge head. Pretty sure we can handle the hinge head. One second, guys. I have a phone call. All right. Let's go. Right. I think we can get two dropships to deal with this time. Yep. Another one coming in. There's one docked over there. That's fine. We can let them come to us. Right. Come on, you covenant bastards. Let's do this. Yeah, because there was three. There's one dropped off there that we've just taken out, and there's this one here. Ooh, hello. Look at this guy. He's trying to earn his red armor. Not on my watch. God, this game feels so... Ooh, hello. You've already got your red armor. You got some bollocks on you. Ooh, man, we are getting overrun. Let's go. Get up, men. Let's repel borders. King of the hill, bitch. Alright, not bad. Being suppressed with some grenades. Oi! Get off. My hill. Artificial hill, but still, mine. Okay, looks like we've still got some fire coming. Excellent. Who held the line? Roger, Echo Four Nineteen. This is Fire Team Charlie. I need you five by five. That you, Four Hammer? Roger, Fire Team Charlie. Good to hear from you. If you're not too busy, Four Hammer, we could use a lift. We have survivors to transport to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. Lifeboats make it down. The Covenant are going to be right on top of them. Fohammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. All right, let's do this. Okay, Charlie Team, warthog deployed. Saddle up and ah, yes, the good old warthog. One of gaming's most iconic vehicles. Now, one thing we can do. All of these guys that we saved. All these guys are gonna. Hey, we've got Johnson with us. Excellent. Yeah, so the guys that survived are gonna evac into the back of the Pelican there. But we can pill for one of them. Let's ride. So we've got one person on the Gatling gun. 
and we've got Johnson riding shotgun. What could possibly go wrong? Now, there is another skull over here. Just trying to work out the best way of getting it. It is over here. Now, the vehicle controls do take a little bit getting used to, but once you're used to it, they are perfect. And the uh, Warthog is one of the most iconic uh, vehicles in gaming. Many um, first-person games have tried to copy the idea. Well, that's, that's unfair. At the end of the day, it's just a Jeep with a gun on the back. I'm looking at you, Fall of Man. And um, what's the other one that I played recently that has it as well? Very similar vehicle. Haze. Yes, Haze. Now, the trouble is... Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. The trouble is, um, the vehicles in Fall of Man... Actually, the tank was all right, but the Jeep was absolute garbage. Horrendous. And uh, the same in um, Haze as well, uh, the one vehicle that I did get to try. Whereas Bungie with Halo, they got the vehicles right. They got the vehicles down perfectly. The way they maneuver, the way you can load them up with men. Perfect. I would say I'm biased, but unfortunately it's a fact. Oh, we're going to be showing them who we're dealing with. Don't worry. Now, unfortunately, our friend Avery Johnson here is pretty injured. And here is our terminal for this mission. Let's go grab it. Let's find out what's going on around here. And remember, these terminals weren't in the original game. This was not difficult. What was could never be again. We had seen to that quite thoroughly. Prior to my final journey through the Great Portal, a gathering of my fellow monitors was convened upon the Lightworkers' Crunch to distribute the final Index Collection. It was most unusual to have this vessel of rebirth play host to such an event. Even though life worker ships were the only ones still allowed slip space permissions. Life workers were responsible for getting us to our places on the active facilities of the array. While all of this was in accordance with the plan, one entirely unsatisfactory breakdown remained. We had no contact with the domain. The history of all forerunners was now lost to us. We relied upon the permanence of the domain to preserve our record of the events that led to this point. But without that record, would future civilizations know anything about us? Or only of our weapons? My fellow monitor, 049 Abject Testament, had only one comment on this before we went our separate ways. We deserve to be forgotten. Perhaps. Perhaps. But now, the portal opens, and through it, the familiar shape awaits. Halo. Oh. Hmm, something pretty serious happened a long time ago, by the sounds of things. Hmm. Okay. Right. Anyway, no time to worry about that. Let's go. Let's see if we can save some soldiers. I'm hoping Johnson isn't going to die, because that's going to have extreme consequences to the 
story and the lore going forwards. But, ah, uh, it's fine. Evening, guys. Wakey, wakey. Come on, Johnson. Let's get it done. Another one gone. Yeah, this is quite the interesting structure, isn't it? Come on, light them up. A little bit of accuracy. There we go. Ah, looks like Johnson's about to die. He's literally on uh, one block of health left. It's fine. Right, what we like for... There we go. That Gatling gun on the back is a pretty monstrous weapon. Doesn't overheat. Doesn't need to be reloaded. And when used correctly, it will certainly make Swiss cheese of anything. It's actually a light uh, anti-aircraft weapon. Now this is the only type of Warthog we actually get in Halo 1, but there's quite a few variants as the games go on. Right, if you guys could hold down the fort there, I'm going to go deal with the stragglers. Right, well, looks like we need a bridge, because if we come up here, the bridge is out. Mm-hmm. Well, it's pretty clear that humans weren't responsible for this. But then, the AI voice seemingly was welcoming us back. Hmm. Curious. Okay, that's fine. Let's go find ourselves a switch. We've got all the Covenant Plasma weapons, but... Surprise, motherfucker! Oof! Be awful if somebody stuck you with one of your own grenades. Just try and hold them down. Hey, there's one of them gone. Oof, need to reload. Put some pressure on him. Oh! Vaporized him with his own grenades. Terrible way to die. Apart from the fact that he was Covenant scum, so it doesn't matter. Yes, we have these uh, plasma rifles here. Covenant design. Pretty good weapon. It's stripping away enemy shields. They cannot be reloaded, though. Uh, I can't remember if it's in this game, but... In the following games, you'll see them on charging stations. They were sort of designed to be somewhat disposable weapons. And there we have our light bridge. Handy. Handy. 